this is part two of this kind of DMX uh, virtual stage setup. Uh, if you want to see like the basics of UV unwrapping, you can go to part one, but here we're going to look at a little bit more of an advanced setup. It will show you some UV unwrapping as well. We'll get a really exact UV unwrap of uh, what our geometry is doing, and then we can unwrap that, and then we can edit the rotation and stuff further in Unreal to get some really some awesome single image maps spread across a load of different ge geometry. So it can make some really awesome advanced setups. So a little more advanced DMX setup coming up. Let's get into it. Well, you can totally go a bit more nuts with your layouts and your setups. Um, maybe you want to do, maybe you want to do um, something a bit more complex like this, you know, um, something badass like this. <laughs> That's cool. Um, you can do that. We could, yeah, what I'd say is like figure out maybe a, like flat version of what you want to do and then um so let's say let's just say it's this Ooh, let's just say it's this for now yeah um and you might want to you might want to rotate some stuff this way but i'd say like hold off on that for a second um what we can do is uh, you can hold alt and uh scroll wheel to get a super flat projection so we've got our object in uh, edit mode select one little face and press a to select all uh, i've already uv unwrapped this but you can go u project from view and you got to make sure you got this uh alt and scroll wheel so it's got really flat face on image there and go u project from view and that's there so we got this that's great that's going to be a perfect representation of what's going on on our faces and what we're actually going to do is go to texture paint and uh, this is going to generate our kind of perfect little map for us so i'll go new texture 920 by 1080 i'll call this advanced uh, projections one and okay and it would have skewed this a little bit um but that's okay if we go back to uv editing and set that advanced projections one um we can we can scale this on the x we can scale this on the y and it's quite nice just to fill the space so you get the maximum resolution even if there is some skewing as long as you account for that skewing then you're all good you know you could um could eye up a little bit more and get that a bit more squished if you want so it's a bit closer to the original image um so yeah back in texture paint we're actually just going to use this uh as a way to just generate this one saved image that's going to be a perfect kind of view if you want to be janky about it you could just snip tool and just you know take that but let's try and be exact um so so we need to assign a material to this real quickly so we'll go shading and we'll go image texture go image image texture and we'll select that advanced projections advanced projections one make that the base color so this is all going to be black for now because in our texture pane we got that but if we use this fill and fill all these white then we got our really nice representation of what's going on so that's excellent chances are you might be doing this with planes instead of these little squares so you might not get these little lines but what we know from this is what's going on in the white is going to be mapped to these different shapes so we can now save this image out uh, so it says image start up here that means it's not saved so we can go save as and we can call this advanced projections map save that image now in photoshop we can drag in our map and this is sick we now like we could do we could do this in after effects or something as well if we want we now know that whatever we've got going on in each of these areas is going to be mapped perfectly um what i'll do for now just for demo purposes is to see the same export method as we did before um yeah now that we've got our mapping set up we go rendered view we can see that it's all it's all white which is good and now that we've got our UV set up, we can, we can always do some like rotating of the objects and things. And things will look good. Or we can uh, separate. We can separate by selection. I'll just do that for these two, just for demo purposes. And then in object mode, back to layout, I'll just select all of these three and go file export FPX and call this advanced screens. And maybe what I'll do in Photoshop as a demo is just fill these different colors. We got red, we got yellows. I'll just do all of this road blue. And I'll save that out as a new image. Advanced multi screen template. Nope. And back in our Unreal level, let's drag in our advanced screens FBX and just do import. Don't worry about those. And cool. So we got our main color here. I'll drag in this advanced screens template as well. It's made a material for us. That's awesome. We can drag these all in. Lovely. And in position, wicked. And uh, in this material, 
I'm just going to swap over to this for the kind of demo purposes, just so we can see that those UVs should all be nice and aligned. And oh my god, super sick. That's amazing. So we got two different objects, three different objects going on. Could rotate these like however you want, make them super cool. You know, it could do something like immersive like this. It's set, you know, separate animations for these. These could be like bobbing up and down on their own. And we got that whole map going on. We could have like a picture of an eye in here, in here and here, or flames going up here and here, and separate stuff going on here. And, and you know, you can demo this by just loading in the same 1920 by 1080 image, and you can see it's uh, mapped really nicely, it's showing that whole image across the whole thing because this is mapped to 1920 by 1080. But equally, you could save uh, on, you could save on like texture resources and stuff by just having the one spout texture coming through and, you know, compositing it into these separate different shapes uh, in After Effects or in Resolume or something like that. Um, so yeah, awesome way to get these kind of advanced uh, DMX stage kind of settings. I uh, can use this for virtual gigs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'd love to see what you guys make with this stuff. It can go really far, get really insane. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps with the kind of mapping of it and stuff. Cheers.